Snickerdoodles are an old fashioned treat, but what happens when you put a holiday twist on them? Peppermint Snickerdoodles. An amazing taste that will definitely make your friends and neighbors feel more into the holiday spirit. For this you will need one stick of softened butter, one cup of sugar, one fourth teaspoon of baking soda, one fourth teaspoon of cream of tartar, one half teaspoon of vanilla, one egg, one and one half cups of all-purpose flour. That is all you need for now. Beat butter in a medium-sized mixing bowl with an electric beater for around 30 seconds. Add sugar, baking soda, and cream of tartar and continue mixing. When it's combined, add in the egg and the vanilla. Add all the flour and mix as much as you can with the electric bit, then stir in the rest with the wooden spoon. When you have that done, put the mix into the refrigerator for a full hour, but don't keep it in there for any longer. While that is cooling, you get smashed candy canes. If you use the normal ones, use four or five. If you use the smaller ones, which I prefer, use 10 or 11. The smaller ones are easier to smash. Take them out of the wrappers and put them all in a gallon sized Ziploc bag. Roll it up, making sure that all the air is out, then put it in a second gallon bag and get smashing. I would recommend you make it as powdery as you can, as chunks will make it hard for the dough to roll in. Now take two tablespoons of sugar and one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Mix them together until they're very well mixed. Take the dough out of the refrigerator and start rolling it into one inch balls. Take the balls and roll them into cinnamon sugar, then the powdered candy cans. Put them on a cookie sheet about two inches apart. Put the balls into a 375 degree oven for about 10 minutes or until the edges are golden brown. They have a pink slash red tint to them. Set them out to cool and then enjoy. I hope you try this when the holiday season comes around, and I hope your friends and your neighbors will enjoy this as much as you do. I have been Vanessa Vanna Webb, and I will see you later.